Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Spoil New Testament Cathedral. I am yours truly, Bishop Steve Hepburn, along with First Lady Kadian Hepburn. Welcome to this, our Sunday morning worship service. We're happy to have you here today. How much I am delighted to be back. Having gone to New York and Florida, I am back on the soil of Jamaica to worship with you. Today we come to give God praise, to give Him glory. Our online viewers, we are happy to have you. Those who are on their way to church, I am just waiting to fellowship with you as you fellowship with us. The glory of the Lord promises to be great today. The blessings of the Lord, I have no doubt, will be overshadowing you today. As you come, I want you to come expecting a blessing. A word awaits you. Amen. As we go through today's service. Our online viewers, we appreciate you. I want you to know that as you go on the platform, make sure you like, subscribe, and share to our YouTube channel. Share and like in our Saturday morning Life and Poor broadcast on Central 96.3 FM, Adoration Gospel FM New York, and the Spaulding New Testament YouTube page. We're happy to have you. We are a church that is impacting the community. Come this Good Friday, we're having fellowship with all those children and others, kite flying, yes, snow cone, ice cream, bun and cheese, whatever, you name it, that will be here. Come on out and just fellowship and rap with us. Our church is a church that aim to build others, to disciple others for Christ. We're aiming to build the relationship with the community. Brothers and sisters, welcome again to the Paul New Testament Church of God. I pray that your lives will be blessed. Kadian and I say to you, be blessed. Be anointed, be inspired, and I pray that at the end of the service, you will walk out saying, it was good for you to be here. God bless you. Welcome again to the Spaulding New Testament Cathedral. Until then, see you later.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to oh, God. Oh, hallelujah. Go ahead and worship him. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We praise you, almighty God. We lift you up. We exalt you. My God, there is none like you. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, somebody call him by his name. Call him by his name. Oh, Jehovah God. Hallelujah. My God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we love you this morning. Hallelujah. We worship you, our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. Oh, blessed be God. Blessed be God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray, brothers and sisters. Oh, glory to God. Let us pray. Let us pray. Thank you, Holy Father. We acknowledge you. You are our God. You are our Savior. You are our King. You are our all in all. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We salute you this morning, God. We salute you. You are worthy to be praised. That here we are in your presence. Hallelujah. We once was lost. We once was blind. We once was wretched. Oh God Almighty. Hallelujah. We once was gone astray. Oh, blessed be Almighty God. But Jesus, you came, you bled, you died. And here we are today. Here we are celebrating you. Here we are, God. We could not have done it by ourselves. We could not have paid the price. We could not afford it. Oh, God Almighty. But we thank you this morning. We worship you. We glorify you. We exalt you. My God in heaven. Because you paid it. You paid it all. Oh, hallelujah. And we celebrate you this morning. We lift up our praise unto you oh glory to God hallelujah we are thankful this morning daddy oh God and we say all to you we surrender all to you we freely give oh God almighty we ask you this morning to saturate this place we ask you to come by here Come in your strength, oh God. Come in your power. We pray, divine God, that you will fill this house with your presence. We stand against every plans of hell. We stand against demons and devils. In the name of Jesus. Apply your blood, Lord. Every crib is and corner. Every person in this house today. Apply your blood. Spirit of the living God, take charge. This is your house. This is your service. And these are your people. Oh my God, come down and anoint. Come down and lead. Come down sanctified. Come down and liberate in the name of Jesus. And be thou glorified. Be thou glorified, Lord. We place everything in your hands this morning. Every musician, every instrument, every worshiper, every praise team. Oh God, every praise member, every children, every child. Oh God Almighty, take charge today. Take charge, God. We humble bow before you today. And we say, have thine own way in the name of Jesus Christ. And we all say, Amen and Amen.
God bless you as we worship together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue to worship God this morning. Continue to honor His name this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
morning. Hallelujah, we worship you, Lord, this morning. Lord, we exalt your name this morning. Lord, your name is worthy to be praised this morning. Lord, we lift up your name.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just stand with us this morning and let us put our hands together and, and worship God this morning. Hallelujah.
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joshua Kirby, and I will be your day's moderator. The children are in charge. Our opening prayer will be done by Brother Jerry Wayne Griffiths. Bow your hearts as I pray. Father God, I want to thank you for today. Mighty God, I want to thank you for waking us up this morning, Mighty God. Mighty God, we have come in your house not just to give you praise, but to glorify your name, Mighty God, and to lift up your name. Mighty God, I pray that you take fully control of today's service, Mighty God. Mighty God, let everything run through today. Flow good, Mighty God. Let anything that has come from the enemy be blocked, mighty God. Mighty God, I pray that you give the praise team power, mighty God, to sing, mighty God, the drummers, the musicians, the ushers, mighty God, everyone on your altar, mighty God. Give them the power to declare your word. Mighty God, I pray that you take control of the day, mighty God. Mighty God, cover everyone on your board. Cover the moderator, mighty God. Cover everyone that is in the sanctuary. Mighty God, I leave this in your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Brother Antonia Thompson will be doing the scripture reading, and then a member from the PR team will come to do the welcome. Good morning, church. I'll be doing the scripture reading for today. It is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 21, verse 1 to 11. Here beginneth. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethphage, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass, tied and a coat with her, loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man sought, say, un, say aught unto you, ye shall, you shall say, The Lord have need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye, the daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting upon an ass, and, and a coat of, and a coat the foal of an ass. And the disciples went, and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought for us and the coat, and put on their clothes, and they said unto and they sat and they set him thereon, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosea in the highest. And when he was coming, and when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. This is a, this is the Lord's holy word. We honor it by saying, Run be to God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Can you just smile with the person beside you and say, welcome to church? Welcome to church. This morning, we are in the house of the Lord, and we are here to give God thanks. Can you give the Lord a rousing round of applause? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, man, we are here for worship. Thank you so much. I want to welcome the Holy Spirit. He is with us. And I want to welcome, and I'm going to ask you to put your hands together for Bishop Hepburn. He is back with us. And Sister Hepburn, Mikhail, and Mikida. And we are thankful, sir, that you are back with us. I also want to welcome the members of the Pastors Council, 
the choir, the musicians, the media team. Welcome. And I have just two, two special welcome. I'm not sure if persons came in after, but Sister Camisia Davis is worshiping with us today. Uh, she's at the back. Welcome to church. Welcome to Spalding. And we have a group of young ladies from the Young Ladies Ministry from the Lucy New Testament Church of God. Can you stand, please? Spalding, can you put your hands together for them? And Sister Camisia, can you stand as well? So Persis right. she's at the back there. We, you may be seated. God bless you. Thank you for choosing Spalding to come and worship with us this morning. Is there anybody who came in after the names were written down? You are worshiping with us for the first or the second time? No. All right. So I want to welcome all our home folks to church this morning. The Lord is here with us and we are here for worship. Please listen to the notices. The Sanguinetti New Testament Church of God is inviting us to their annual rally. And this will be on Friday, April 12th at 7 p.m. It's rally of the members and they are asking us for an item. Our today is going to be the first of two rally marches. Can you say rally? Can you shout out rally? Let me hear the Noah group say rally. Solomon, where are you? All right, so today is the first of our rally marches, and it will be indicated to you when that time is. Now, the NOAA group wants to express gratitude to those who supported our movie night last week. Those persons who were here, I am sure that you were blessed. Also want to say, let me just say thank you to those persons who journeyed to Old Harbor on Friday night to the crusade to support Bishop Hepburn. God bless you, those who drove their private vehicle and those who came with us on the bus. We are grateful that you took the time out to come. And those who watch online too, we are happy that you joined in. Friday, Good Friday service will be this Friday coming, March 29th, and it begins at 9, and it will end at 11. Now, we know that after the Good Friday service, we will have our annual Easter fellowship, and it will be right here on the church grounds, and we'll have fun, food, and fellowship. But Bishop Hepburn will give us some more details when he comes. Also, harvest is coming up. It's harvest season. Harvest will be on the 28th of April at an on, sorry, on the 28th of April, 2024. Again, Bishop will give us more details. Let me hear you say Congress. Shout out Congress. All right, so the young people will go back to Congress on April 5th and 6th. And following the 5th, there will be an, an open air service in Old Harbor Square. And guess who is going to be the preacher? Bishop Hepburn, right? So in addition to those persons who are going to Congress, you might not want to go to Congress and spend the day, but if you are desirous of going in the night to support Bishop, you know you'll have to give me your names from early. We don't want a repeat of what happened Friday night. So if you know that you would want to go, we could work out something for a small transportation or a coaster, if we get a coaster load, but we have to indicate with a down payment. So if you want to go to Old Harbor, see me after church, please. All right, on Saturday, there will be a funeral service here for Mr. Sitaram, and it begins at 11.30. Uh, we know that on Easter Monday, there will be the Middlesex Ladies' Convention in Old Harbor. And of course, Spalding will be represented. So Sister Reed is reminding the ladies that the fair is $1,500. And Sister Reed, at what time the bus leaves again?
7. Promptly at 7. The bus will be driving out at 7 o'clock. Now we have some congratulations. And I want to well, um, say congratulations on behalf of Bishop Hepburn, the council members, and the church to Sister Megan Copeland, the, the, the track coach. Yes, man, put your hands together for her and her team. You know, the Alphonsus Davis High School students, their track team, they come here almost every Sunday to worship with us. And God has been good to them. They went to champs and they got two gold medals, one silver, one bronze. So we put our hands together and we celebrate with Sister Copeland. And another one. The past students, let me read this carefully. I was instructed to do so. The past students of the Spalding New Testament Church of God, the past students of the Edwin Allen High School who are right here. Raise your hand if you went to Edwin Allen. All right, they are all here. And they have asked me to congratulate Edwin Allen in two capacities. Edwin Allen is celebrating its 60th anniversary this year and they also retained their title at the boys, at the girls aspect of the championship. So put your hands together for them. Also, we are still on congratulations. We have to congratulate our Performing Arts Director, Sister Marissa Daly Crawford, and her assistants, Brother Jordan Griffiths and Sister Akilia Thompson and all the children and the teens who went to the JCDC Parish Finals. Here it comes now. So at the JCDC Parish Finals, the Spalding New Testament Church of God, in the teens category, they got one silver and three gold medals. And it's not finished there. One, two pieces of the, two of the teens' pieces will advance to the national finals. Also, in the children category, the children got one gold and two silver. And one of the children's piece will advance to the national finals. Put your hands together for them. Unfortunately, I don't know if the tech team will be able to project it, but I was not able to download the birthdays this morning. So please forgive me if you celebrated your birthday in the week or if you're celebrating this week, I ask of you to pat yourself on the shoulder and say happy birthday. We continue with our services, the midweek services. On Tuesday will be fasting and Wednesday will be Bible study. I don't know if towards the end of the service they can project the birthdays. Pardon? And FTH will be tomorrow night. Let us come out and support where we can. And remember, Friday we will be here for a good Friday service and it begins at 9. God bless you everybody. I'm happy every day as I travel through this land. I've been mighty blessed by God and I'm holding to his hand. The journey is almost over. All the battles ready won. And I have a feeling in my heart the best is yet to come. The best is First time I see, I can hug. He showed me. Oh, he says this is your home, and I have a the best this yet. I'm standing now on Jordan's bank as I face the rolling tide. The storms and crowds are raging. 
but I'm happy down inside. I see the light bulb coming to take me safely, and I have a feeling the best is the best is here. When I walk, somebody worship.
praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a worship. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Wave your hands and give a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody help me, Prince. Oh, somebody shout a praise. Oh, God, I come back with an anointing. Somebody help me worship. Somebody help me praise. Press. 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 Push. Fight on, hold on, hang on, keep on going. It's rough, it's challenging, it's heartrending, it's painful, it's distressing, it's depressing. But keep going, keep on going. Somebody help me, please. Keep on going, keep on, keep on, keep on. Sit down if you can. Oh, it is a worship in here. It's your worship in the cathedral. It's your worship in the sanctuary. Ribandaba Kotoria. Ramai Kosidi Biandai. We give your praise. We give your praise. We give your praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody just say thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Give a worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Saints of God, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. For in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. I greet you well, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet the members of the church and pastors, council, the deacons, Praise to my own wife and family. Amen. The musician, squire, officer in charge, our moderator, brother Joshua. Friends visiting, ushers, children, online persons, one and all. I greet you well in Jesus' name. Greetings, Church of God. I am happy to be back with you. 
Amen. I see I'm happy to be back with you. For those who have watched online, it appears as if I have been enjoying myself and seem happy. But I was just put in over to ensure that I wear a happy face because I miss my brethren. I miss my people. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. I say I miss my people. Amen. And I genuinely missed you and I'm happy that I am here with you today. Are you happy to see me back? You sure? Give the Lord a praise for joining mercies and guidance. Brothers and sisters, I report victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory from New York and victory from West Palm Beach, Florida. Amen. The meetings were great. The conventions were a blessing. Several souls were baptized with the Holy Ghost, with the initial evidence of speaking with tongues as I preached and during my preaching. Amen. We have seen over 30 plus souls surrendering to Jesus Christ in both states. We give God thanks. Amen. And it has been history in the making for the biggest New Testament church in, in, in West Palm Beach, Florida. Amen. In all their 16th year of convention, they have reported that this is so far the best they have had in terms of attendance for all five days and night. Amen. The sanctuary had over 400 people every night, young and old, desiring to hear the word of God. It's not I that live, but the Christ that lives in me. And I come back to report to the church that the Lord was with me. His work has been accomplished. Self has been slain. And he got the glory. The mission continues. Amen. And so I am back to continue with the work of the Lord. And I am happy that the work continued even during my absence. Amen. The work continued with preachers, evangelists Maxwell and Reverend Williams, and all the other persons who participated in the various services and the Bible studies teaching, Mr. Wallace, and all the persons who did their part. Amen. The officer in charge, musicians, I just bless God for your continued support, Brother Cross, who continued with the hosting of the radio program. During my absence, I give God thanks for his commitment and his skills and talents, and we bless God for him. Put your hands together for everybody. I am pleased to see the young women from the Lucy Church worshiping with us today. They have been off for the weekend on retreat, and so is not retreat. They, they are just around, and they decide they want to come to church. They're just around. Lucy Far, you know. Lucy's about three to four hours drive from here. And I would have shared in the convention their 10th crusade in January. Yes, the first, the 21st. And what a crusade it was. And so they are in our space and they choose to worship with us at the Spalding New Testament Church of God. Put your hands together for them. Amen. We're happy that you're here. And the peace of the Lord. The president is here. Yes, just stand and give away, Madam President. Amen. Bless God for you. Thank you. They reached out to me and I was happy to accommodate them today in our midst. It's Reverend Dante Seabright's mother in the midst. She's not here today. She's at Where is she? That's Reverend Dante Seabright's mother who preached the other day. Give it up for her. Amen. We're happy to see you, sis. God bless you. Amen. We're happy to see you in the midst of us today. God bless you. And all the others, our sister who is back worshiping with us, and I'm seeing Sister Barbara Facey, Evangelist Barbara Facey, who lives in Canada, but is also from here, but she's our regular online. Amen. Worshipper. And I'm happy to see you, Sister Barbara Facey. God bless you. I met your sister in West Palm Beach, and it was a pleasure to have seen her. God bless you. Amen. Somebody praise God. Brothers and sisters, I want to congratulate the JCDC. You know I have to make my own comment, right? So give it up for them. Where are the participants 
of Mr. Thompson did a fantastic job. But I, I just want the participants to take a quick run out here. You went to JCDC. You went to Mandible. On Monday, you participated. And these medals belong to you. Just run out here. Come on, all of you. Just run. Where, where, where are the participants? Where are you? Where are you? Whether you're teens, you should reach here, man. You're all younger than I do, you know. Come on out. Makeda, Britannia, TT, Jordan. No, Jordan, I know. It is J, prayer warrior. Amen. Amen. They are here. Amen. Come on. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Four gold medals and four silver medals. Eight medals in all. And some of them are moving on to the national finals. Come on, put your hands together for them. Celebrate them. God bless you. We love you. Amen. And do not leave before you get something. I have something for you that Sister Graham and Sister Auntie Wignall will take care of you. Amen. And all the other children with. Happy to have you. Bless you. Put your hands together for them. They are the same ones and others who will be participating in our Youth Congress at Old Harbor. Remember Spalding Church. We are the defending national champion for Youth Congress. And we're taking it back to the other churches that we are still performing. And we are still doing ministry in terms of dancing, music, miming and all different kinds different pieces. We bless God for the power, for the trainers, the tutors, Sister Mary and her team. We bless God for you. Amen. And you don't need to worry everybody who are here. Amen. If the, if the ice cream still uh, okay, amen, you will have it. I carried ice cream from overseas for everybody. <laughs> Ask me how it come. <laughs> 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 Sister Wallace, what you're telling up is on my clothes. <laughs> How could that? It doesn't have to be the literal ice cream. It can be that the funds is available to get the ice cream. So don't worry. So why are you looking at me in that tone of voice? Right? But I am happy. Amen. Good Friday fellowship comes up, and I want all of you to be prepared to be in service at 9 o'clock, and then we end at 11, and at 12, 12.30, amen, we engage. There will be water slide, there will be bounce about, there will be popsicle, yes, ice pop, what do you call it? Snow cone, hot dog, popcorn, bun and cheese. There will be kite hoisting session. All the boys and young men, make your kite, buy your kite. The biggest kite will get an award. The prettiest kite will get an award. And the kite that goes the highest will also get an award. We're going up here and we're going to send the kites over so you can watch as we celebrate on Good Friday. Amen? 80% of what I have mentioned earlier will be free of cost. 70 to 80% will be free of cost. You're going to be asked to pay, not the big people, we don't want any big people in this slide. You hear, Sister, Sister Thompson, Sister Holmes Thompson, you will not be allowed. We welcome you to assist with the management of it, but you can't go in there. Uh -oh. I take, I, I'll ensure you get to Duns River Fall. Uh, yeah, look at your face, yeah. Right, so, um, the water slide and the bounce about, you just pay $500 and you ride and slide all day. Fair enough? $500 and you ride and slide all day. When you give this fund, it will assist with the children's ministry, with the other programs and activities that we have coming up in the future. Do I get an amen? So please, these funds will be used for the development, Sister Graham. And also, we will ask you to contribute, amen, to the hot dog. Because it is a special hot dog. It's no mongrel dog. Nor pedigree. It's a hot dog. 
It's not a mongrel or pedigree or you know, a Doberman, a, a, a Rottweiler. It's a hot dog. All right. <laughs> Amen. So please support that on Good Friday. Amen. Our harvest service comes up on the 28th, and it will begin at 11.30. So you don't need to get here for 9 o'clock on that day. You come at 11.30. So church begins at 11.30 on the 28th of July. When you come, we gather in the sanctuary, take the numbers for Sunday school, do your harvest service, and then we get back onto the car park because all the vehicles will be parked on this side come that day because the car park will be transformed into two stalls, two tents. April, April 28th, sorry. Two tents and judges will be coming in to judge, to assess on variety, presentation, creativity, yes, and the person, the group that comes out on top, it will be Solomon and Noah, the group that comes out on top will be awarded the trophy as harvest team for the 2024. A percentage of what you sell on that day will go back to your group to fund, to help you reach your target. So a percentage of what you sell on harvest that day will go back to your rally group's contribution. Do I get an amen? So prepare for that. It's an exciting day. Once you come at 11.30, by, two, by 1 o'clock or so, we should be on the, on the um, car park at the stalls doing the assessment. And think by 3, 3.30, everybody can go home. So you can stay home between early morning and whatever. And those who need to come from early, set up their stalls, do what they're doing. Amen. So you don't need to come to church until 11.30 on the 28th. Fair enough? More details will come. Edwin Allen, congratulations on regaining the, after what, two or three years, you are out of it and you are back. Huh? One year? No, I want to COVID years. Who won during COVID? No, man. <laughs> Edwin Allen. Somebody say Edwin Allen won during COVID. So once there's no competition, the defending champion holds the trophy the same way, right? All right? But congratulations, Edwin Allen. Well done. And I know champions and talents, gifts are in that institution. And I put, uh, put our hands together for the Edwin Allen School and the past students and those who have connection with that school. And our very own sister, Megan Wilson Copeland, our district sports and social activities director, who is the coach at the Alphonsus Davis High School and bringing home medals for that institution. Put your hands together for her and her team and the school at Boys and Girls Championship. Amen, brothers and sisters. If you look to your left, you'd realize that for the first time, you have a door opening to your left. Amen. Amen. More fresh air, more light. Amen. Coming inside. Amen. You knew how it was, and we have worked long and hard to get that door in. By tomorrow into Wednesday, you will see the roof and ceiling going on to that porch. Amen. And the lighting underneath. So therefore, even at night, amen, the door can be opened just the same. Put your hands together for the builders, Deacon Williams and his team, Brother Kirby. Amen. They're doing a fantastic job and I bless God for all of you. Amen. And our technical team will continue to make significant strides. Coming in a few days, the Spalling New Testament Church of God will officially launch our website, our church's website. So what we will do from the website is that the women's ministry, the performing arts ministry, all the different auxiliaries will have their own things. So persons can go on that, click, and find all the information about the women's ministry, about the performing arts ministry. So there will be a website, and we will help to fund that to ensure that we reach the world Amen, in this kind of way. Somebody put your hands together for 
I'm not, I'm not say, I didn't say YouTube or Facebook. I said a website. So there we can upload information, details. You can go there, find the history of the church. You can go there, find about, look about past ministers and how the church got to where it is. So it will be a full website. Nobody, a person's asking about spoiling church. You just give them the link, www.whatever it is. And we go on clear. Somebody praise God. Come on, give it up for the technical media team. Amen. And the media team celebrates a new member who is coming on board in the person of Sister Lamoy Johnson Mullins. She is a con she is a she does content creation. She does creates content for over 20 plus companies. CB Chicken, Rainforest, those big companies, she create those contents. All grace, so some of those food that is being displayed and advertised, she is the one who does it. And we're happy that she's a Stan Sister Mullins, she's a part of our church, she's right here. Give it up for her. You hear me interviewing her yesterday morning on the radio program. And we're happy in a few days from now, she will be officially given the right hand of fellowship as she's going through the sessions with Officer Cross. Somebody praise Almighty God. The church continued to make significant strides and we bless God for that. Brothers and sisters, with that being said, rally to rally. Rally to rally. Rally to rally. Are you ready to march? Sister Marcia, where you are? Which group? S group two. Which one is group two? Solomon is group two. For, for Noah is group one. So group Solomon. If you're not that, if you say two, that must be Solomon because we know Noah is group one. Right? Somebody say Noah! <laughs> say Noah! <laughs> say Solomon. Me know, man. You see how me say, say Solomon. Solomon. But say Noah. Right. We're ready to march. We're ready to march. And today, brothers and sisters, let me say this also. We're going to be marching and we want you to give sacrificially. Give towards this cause. Several things to be done and the development and advancement of the church. And it is through our giving today that you will know. There are some persons who would have wanted to participate today. But because um, today being the 24th, and the government is still in the sorting out business, so maybe tomorrow into Tuesday you will be better able. So next week, so today is Rally March 1B, 1A, and next week Sunday is Rally March 1B. So those who aren't able to contribute today because of challenges like Sister Almin and others who haven't yet. Yes, amen. They will come in, but what they have today, they will also put it in because sometimes today is bigger than next week, you know. So, <laughs> so we're going to be coming forth. We're going to be marching. I see Solomon lining up. So how it goes? Those from Lucy, a one person let you there. And it's me. So me, I must come to you. It no matter when you're born. It doesn't matter if you're born January to June. My group is July to December. So because me allow you to be here. Right? It's not the noise of the market. It's the seal of the market. So, while Solomon come in, we welcome them in red. But guess what? No group doesn't make the noise. Because guess what? Your bishop is just coming back from the US. Strong and mighty.
strong and mighty. All those from Noah, get a blue flag. Get a blue flag. Those from Solomon, get a red flag. Hey, hey, hey. Solomon. Noah, you're born July. July to December is blue. January to June. January to June, it's blue. Come on, we're ready for them. Everything I double, double low. Yes, Willie, we're coming for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratri, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my God is good. Yeah, yeah, my God is a double, double, oh. a double, double, everything a double, double, oh. a double, double, oh. a double, double, a double, double, oh. double, double, oh. yeah, yeah. sister Graham. Yeah. you to start marching now yeah. coming up with your funds at this time sister Thompson I'm not going Jamaican I'm starting with the lowest I'm starting at 50 US and then I'm going up I know show off, you know, remember say, you're in your red, nobody said that, go on with your red team. Because it's not the color, it's the money. Uh. Come on up. So all the Noah people, come to this side. Blue, red, go to that side. Speak to your leaders. So January to June, come to your left. And July to December, come to your right. As long as you were born in that time. You don't have any month. If you don't have any month, come to me. If you weren't born on any month, come to me. Push and come. Push and come. Come through, Senator. Come through. Come through. Yes, sir. Go on. 
So, BMC, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Let them satisfy with what you have given them. Later we'll talk. Love your baby. Bye. I, I, I'll talk to you later, honey. I still love you. I still love you. So we are your leader. Come on. Come on, come on. We're ready. This is my first 100. Come on. US. So, so come here, man. No, man, come here. If you have back, you're back. You know. This is my first 100 US. Do you have any? Do you have any? Yes or no? Do you have any US? Do you have any US? You don't have any? All right, see one here. Then if you want, you don't have any and I give you one dollar. Yeah. So, how much for one US? I want to know how much for one US. 148? 148. One, two, three, four, five. And these are two checks. So this is the first for today. Right? So, rally, this is for today. And then, well, no. That is for the earlier one. You might can go and check, man, because you might can go and check, man. Because what will be said is that, unfortunately, we will not know the figures. You will only hear today who has come out on top in terms of who is the first place. But the figures will not be announced. Amen. Amen, everybody. The figures will not be announced at a more convenient and appropriate time. The figures will be shared with the congregation as we build together the kingdom of God. So, all I know is that I have two checks plus 500 US, amen, to put in, right? And let me say this, everybody. Why is this we going on like this, giving our monies, and it is towards kingdom building? And the only thing sad, sister, sister Marcia, is that there are persons who doesn't support giving, whether it be rally, tithing, offering, or anything financially. But it's sad to say that when the time comes, some of these same persons, you have to be putting back what I have made the sacrifice, and you have made the sacrifice to give to help. But it's church anyways, we continue to build. But I pray that this will help somebody who doesn't feel like contributing to the development of the church to be moved towards giving something. Because you may not embrace the initiatives or the ideas or the method in which we use to raise funds. But guess what? At the end of the day, it is towards kingdom building and it doesn't dishonor God and it doesn't take away from our righteousness and holiness. I made that clear as a Bible teacher. God bless you. We continue to build together in the name of Jesus. Those who did not get to participate today, next week in Rally 1B, you will get an opportunity to put in your little bit. So that means because every mickle maker, muckle. And one brother did pray down a cobbler and say, one, one cocoa, full basket according to the Bible. I don't know which part in the Bible he found that, but praise God. Add them up. Praise God. Moderator, let me. No, we will have an item by the children. Thank you, Brother Antonio. Thank you, um, Auntie Thompson. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, um, Antonio. And thank you, Sister Thompson. No, we will have an item by the children.
Done by Sister Tyrone Maxwell, Sister Tiana Carty, and Sister Akilia Davis. Afterwards, the officer in charge will take over. I'll leave this quote with you. If you ever see someone without a smile, give them one of yours because you never know the situation that they'll be going through. I leave this quote with you. If you ever see someone without a smile, give them one of yours because you never know the situation that they are going through. We believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible. In one God, eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that Jesus was crucified, that Jesus Christ was the only begotten Son of the Father, named the Holy Ghost, and when of the Virgin Mary, and Jesus was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead, and he ascended to heaven, and he at the right hand of the Father and intercessor, and ascended at the heart of the glory of God. And, uh, and the of God, and all the necessary of the good saints. That justification, regeneration, birth, are wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. In sanctification, we went to the birth. 
Spirit of Jesus Christ, by the Holy Ghost, holiness to be God's standard of living in His people, in the baptism with the Holy Ghost, consequently, in speaking, we call that as the Spirit gave utterance, as that is a natural evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In water baptism by immersion, and how open to be baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Divine healing is provided for all in the atonement, in the Lord's Supper, and washing of the saints. In the preliminary and second coming of Jesus, First, to resurrect the righteous dead and to catch away the living sins to him in the air. Second, to reign on the earth a thousand years. In the body resurrection, eternal life for the righteous and eternal punishment for the wicked. I heard somebody once says, if you think it easy, come up here. And I watch Purpose. Are the right name she have? Purpose. Oh, some of them are ready with me. I'm about 15, maybe. I could even call them. But I listen. And if you not call it properly, she now pass it. She call it. She is determined. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Put your hands together for the children. Bless the name of the Lord. And Brother Joshua, you did a wonderful job. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell you. Bishop, you love the church, don't you? Oh, you yeah, mean, namos. Me love it too. I tell you, man, if you go high, you find somebody if you do something. And you go low, you find somebody if you do something. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. But this time for us to all be worshiping together. Those who sit down and want to clap their hand and open their beautiful mouth and sing praises to God. It's time for us to worship in giving. Amen. And for us alone, me hear say amen. 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 Yes, that's all a little better. Can we say amen again? Amen. All right. So we're going to be giving to the Lord our tithes and our tithes and our offering. And um we're going to be doing so at the leading of our ushers. Bless the name of the Lord. They'll be directing us in giving. For those of who doesn't carry cash, I know a lot of us don't walk with cash, but we have plastic or cards, debit and credit. The machine is working. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. So if you need assistance with that, you can speak to the ushers and they will direct you. Amen. I'll bring you to the card machine. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And also those online, you will also be seen flashing across the screen the way in which you can give. And so we're not leaving anybody out. Everybody can give today. And those who have cash, yes, we'll be walking up to the, uh, to the baskets to be giving our tithes and our offering this morning. But before we do so, this prayer has been creating uh, wonders in many of our lives. And we don't want to keep it to ourselves. We want to share it with everybody. And so I'm going to invite you to stand with me. It's going to be running across the screen. Amen. And we're going to be praying together. Our declaration, sorry. Our liturgy. I'm going to invite you to stand with me, please. And I want us to know that it is not just something we recite. It's not something we recite. Somebody once shared a little story about a gentleman who went to college and came back and recited the 23rd Psalms. And an old lady from the pew came up and did the same thing. But after she did it, the whole church was on fire. So it's not about just repeating this prayer. It's about believing in what you're saying and God will act on our belief. Amen? And it goes like this. I am thankful for your mercies, O Lord. 
and for the honor of sowing seeds into your kingdom. As an act of my own gratitude to you, I have brought my best gift for worship. I bring your tithes and offering into your house as I have commanded me in the book of Malachi chapter 3. I do so with a willing, generous, and cheerful heart. May you accept my gift like that of our brother Abel. May you bless it, O oh, oh Lord, and cause it to multiply into many foes. May my offering and my tithes serve as a defense against the devourer of my resources. I decree an end to all my dry season. I declare an atmosphere of plenty in my own life and that of my family and friends. I am proving you and trusting you to open the windows of heaven over my life with jobs and promotion, raises and benefits, loan settlements, love gifts and surprises, expansion in my business, bills decreasing and blessing increasing. I thank you that your ministering spirit are now free to minister to me and bring the necessary resources. And we sign it by saying, Amen and Amen. Must I remind you that you come up the center aisle and you exit on your left and on your right. Right and your left. And I ask of you, please not to put your hands in the baskets. The ushers standing there will assist you if you need change. Amen. Praise thee.
our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise. Can you stand at your feet one more time, somebody? And give what our God some praise. Hallelujah. My God Almighty. Somebody said there is no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Somebody give him praise. Now I know some of us have been hungry for two weeks. Not true. We have been fed, you know. But you know, sometimes when mommy is not at home and big brother and big sister cook, you don't know, get as much as all you don't get. Not true, me attack. Yes, man. So mommy come back home and you just go and like say, you know, you don't find a long time. So mommy run out of the kitchen. But in this stage, it's not mommy, it's daddy. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. But right before daddy comes, uh, the voice of inspiration will be singing. And right after the voice of um, inspiration, the bishop, Bishop Steve Eckburn, will be taking the podium. God bless you as we worship together. what the mercy of God can do and if you knew me then you'd believe me now you turned my whole life upside down to the old and he made it new that's just what the mercy of God can do
nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is thy flow that makes me white as snow. Nothing, nothing. Why? and praise him everybody lift your hands and worship him everybody thank you very much voices of inspiration you have blessed my heart today and I give God thanks for you amen put your hands together for them and the musicians as they have ministered to us through singing and with music amen Thank you all for your giving and of your monies and your resources, your time towards the building up and the advancement of the work here at Spaulings. I thank you very much for your tithes and your offering that you have given or worship God with today. Certainly it will be used effectively and wisely on the cause of kingdom building. Somebody praise God. Just before you leave, you will hear how well we all have done as it relates to the rally march, who comes out on top and what we need to do. Amen. To better it next week or come June. Amen. I should have let Brother Joseph know. Brother Joseph, how are you? You all right? Your mother says to tell you hi. I saw her. He smiles. He glad. I know you heard from her, right? But just, amen. And Brother Green, your son says to tell you hi. I met your son and sister Green. God bless you. Amen. These persons just came and introduced and glad, happy to be a part of Spall in church and to be connected with Spall in church. Somebody praise God. Amen. And all of you, all who know you, say to tell you hi. <laughs> Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. I'm just going to invite the president from Lucy. Just run, come here right here and just say hello. Let me hear how the Lucy voice and tone. Uh, a lot of people don't know Lucy. Let's just give her a microphone right there. Amen. Just say hello to the church. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise God. Shall we worship the Lord? It's a beautiful day to be in the house of the Lord, to worship and to adore his precious name. We love you all. We are from Lucy representing our bishop, Bishop Williams, and our first lady, Jasmine Williams. Bless you. Put your hands together for them. Amen. And for her, amen. I want you to know, Lucy, that uh, Bishop Robert Williams pastored this church some years ago, so the people are well familiar with him. Some of them here are all, some of them were baptized by him and saved by him, so you have a good pastor. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, today has been celebrated and commemorated in the Christian community as Palm Sunday. As you'd have heard, read from St. Matthew chapter 21 about Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Yes, riding on a young donkey, a colt that have never been ridden. In previous verses, he said to his disciples, he said, go see an unridden donkey, a colt tied. Amen. Loose him and bring him. And if any man asks you, tell him the master has need for him. That was done. That has need for it. That was done. Jesus comes riding into Jerusalem on a young colt. As the people saw him entering on that donkey, he said they spread out their coats, palm branches, and they shouted, Hosanna in the highest. Peace on earth, goodwill to all men. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The triumphal entry into Jerusalem preparing 
for his crucifixion. Brothers and sisters, I am not coming to you from that text, amen, today. But I come to you with a word that God has laid on my heart, amen. Some days ago as I lay in my hotel room and I slept, I woke up about 1 o'clock and I didn't go back to sleep until about 9 o'clock in the morning, amen, struggling and with this word and praying, amen, and God has laid this word on my heart. Psalm 34, verse 19 through to 22. And I know it is for somebody today. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. The word of the Lord, we say, Father, today again, Lord, I stand behind this sacred preaching desk to declare your words to the hearts of your people. Lord God Almighty, yesterday's anointing, last night's anointing, last week or days gone anointing can't do for now. I need a fresh touch. Lord, energize me for this purpose. Lord, physically, literally, oh God Almighty, I've been going for days, but oh God, I need the anointing now that I can minister to your people that they can go home edified, inspired, O oh God, and uplifted in the spirit. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I speak to us on the topic, the outcome of afflictions. The outcome of afflictions. Let's look at the historical context and the setting of Psalm 34, 19 through to 22. This portion of scripture was set within the broader context of the book of Psalms. And Psalms is a collection of religious songs and poems that have been used in worship, that can be used, and they have been used and was used in worship and reflection in ancient Israel. These particular verses speak to the theme of the religious, of the righteous, sorry. It speaks to the theme of the righteous facing challenges and persecution, but ultimately finding refuge and deliverance in Almighty God. Historically, there are scholars who attribute the authorship of Psalm 34 to David, David being the legendary king of Israel, the exact circumstances surrounding the composition of this chapter still unclear, but tradition holds that David wrote it during a period of distress, probably possibly when he was fleeing from King Saul are facing other forms of trials. Somebody praise God. In terms of setting, the psalm reflects the rugged landscape of ancient Israel where people often sought refuge in caves and mountains. The imagery of God's protection amid danger resonates with the experiences of, Israel, of the Israelites who frequently faced threats from enemies and natural disasters. Overall, Psalm 34, 19 through to 22 encapsulates the enduring theme of faith and trust in God's provision and protection even in the midst of adversity. Somebody praise God. The context 
or understanding of the text chosen that I do deliberate on today holds much as we head on into looking at some more facts, details, and outcome of these verses. One of the most important steps we can take when studying the Bible or a particular text is to notice when the same word is being used in different places. Somebody praise God. So when we look at Psalm 34, 19 through to 22, we see the word affliction. Let the church say affliction. Affliction is often used, is used, sorry, in two, dif two different times. Two different times. Once, it is used in relation to the righteous and once in relation to the wicked. Am I talking to the church? That's, that is somewhat interesting evangelist Maxwell uh, of itself. That is somewhat interesting, ain't it? The same word being used twice, but in different ways. One speaks or refers to the righteous and the other to the wicked. Let's see something about this. What it is saying is that both, Sister Johnson, both the righteous and the wicked will experience affliction. Somebody talk with me, Church of God. The passage doesn't make a distinction, Officer Wallace, between the fact that afflictions will occur both for the righteous and for the wicked. The distinction that is made, teachers, is in the outcome. Somebody praise God. The distinction is seen, Sister Camille, in the outcome. The righteous will face affliction. The wicked will face affliction. But the distinction is in the outcome. Somebody praise Almighty God. Ah, I wonder if you see that I'm going somewhere. Spend a few moments with me today as we examine two things. Not three today. Two things. Come on, somebody. One, we're going to be looking at the outcome of the wicked. Come on, somebody. What is the outcome of the wicked? Sister Carter, it is affliction. Desolation, Sister Thompson. It is what? The outcome of the wicked is affliction. That's what the psalmist says. But we're going to look at and finish on point number two. The outcome of the righteous. The outcome of the righteous is affliction. So for the wicked, it is affliction. But the righteous is affliction. Their outcome is going to be deliverance. Somebody praise God. I wonder if you see where I'm going. So for the wicked, their outcome is going to be affliction. But for the righteous, the affliction that they go through is going to be deliverance. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. In Psalm 34, 19 and, verse, and also verse 21, the word, the Hebrew word for affliction is ana or ena, A-N-A, -A, which can also be translated as suffering, trouble, or oppression. Come with me, church of God. I hope you pray with me and come with me. The word ana, the Hebrew word, that it conveys the sense of distress, hardship experienced by the righteous. But it also carries the idea of being humbled or brought low. Somebody praise God. In the context of these verses, it highlights the challenges faced by the righteous and God's deliverance for them. May I also suggest that in relation to the wicked, the afflictions to come 
or experienced is trouble. Come on, somebody. Could even say suffering too and hardship if he or she fails to repent. Somebody praise God. So one, let's see the outcome of the wicked. The outcome of the wicked is going to be affliction. Desolation. Jesus Christ, the anointing is coming upon me. Oh, hallelujah. Psalm 34, 21 reads, Jesus. Evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. Somebody praise God. Oh, hallelujah. I give God a praise. I give God a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the context of this verse, here's a list of what will happen to the wicked. Come on, somebody. Let's look at four things. Four things that will happen to the wicked. Thank you, Holy Ghost. One, the wicked will be slain by evil. God Almighty, somebody help me here. The wicked will be slain by evil. The consequences of the wicked's actions will ultimately lead to their own downfall or destruction. It's a high word today, no? it's a high word. Somebody praise God. The consequences, the outcome of the wicked's actions, come on somebody, will ultimately lead to their own downfall or destruction. It's a high-flown battle warfare message this sinner. Somebody praise God. May I say, warriors who are praying for me right now, come on somebody, that we don't, Sister Walcott, have to do anything to those who are deemed to be wicked, to those who desire and doing evil, because they shall encounter and experience their own downfall. Their destruction will come as a result of their own wickedness. Somebody can I preach like I feel it. Somebody shout hallelujah. The wicked shall be slain by evil. Somebody praise God. Secondly, the wicked, they will face condemnation. What do you mean, pastor? Those who harbor hatred towards the righteous will be judged, condemned for their actions. I wish I have 10 people. Jesus Christ would help me here. Psalm 37, one says, fret not yourself because of evil doers for they soon be cut off. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. The evil one, the wicked, their outcome, come on somebody, help me here, shall be condemnation. Their outcome shall be their own downfall. Their outcome shall be destruction. Somebody praise God, I'm coming to you from the text. Somebody help me here. Somebody praise God. Uh, thirdly, the outcome of the wicked is that they will experience divine justice. Somebody say divine justice. I didn't say secular or temporal justice. I didn't say court justice. I didn't say jungle justice. Somebody praise God. I said divine justice. Somebody say divine justice. The psalm implies that God will intervene. Oh, somebody praise God. 
divine speaks to God divine speaks to the eternal God so what the writer here is saying is that those who do evil those who do wicked those who practice things that are ungodly unrighteous unbecoming unethical inappropriate Lord God that displeases God hallelujah that causes the righteous to be uncomfortable he said divine justice it's saying that God himself will meet such a one Lord God and will deal with him or her somebody praise God the psalm implies that God will intervene to ensure justice is served somebody praise God punishing the wicked for their deeds somebody praise God God is going to punish the wicked sister Juliette for their deeds. Somebody praise God. And fourthly, not only will they experience divine justice, face condemnation, and be slain by their evil cause because of their own doing, but they will suffer consequences. Oh God, somebody help me here. The wicked will face the consequences of their actions. Somebody praise God. I feel like a strange preacher today. Somebody praise God. I feel like a strange preacher in my own pulpit. Somebody praise God. The wicked will face the consequences of their actions both in this life and possibly in the afterlife depending on one's theological interpretation no repentance failure to seek transformation will result in the terrible wrath of almighty God being poured out upon the wicked somebody praise God Ah, afflictions for the wicked however have a different outcome somebody say different outcome they are not redemptive nor are the wicked delivered from them without a willingness on their path Lord God to seek divine help come on somebody in Psalm 34 21 our God he says that the psalmist says the afflictions afflictions will slay them somebody praise God what this psalmist is saying is that this stress trouble hardship they shall be oppressed come on somebody I could almost say anything then do me anything them do you them do themselves because they may seem like they are having a grand time they may seem like they are succeeding they may seem like they are having a win-win now but when divine justice comes when God shows up and say wicked man wicked woman wicked crew I have been watching you I have been observing you I've been tracking your progress I've been tracking you I've been seeing your actions somebody praise God well I am going to show up and what you give prepare to take it back for if you live in a glass house don't throw a rock stone somebody pray for me here somebody take your mind off something else and come with the preacher I come under the anointing somebody asked me today Bishop you're gonna preach I say yes I have to preach for I have a word don't let me come here under my tired self and I'm me alone a preacher you cut your tent let me lose and pray for me somebody prays almighty God affliction shall take the wicked distress somebody prays God hardship problems oppression all sickness to somebody praise God some wicked people wicked groups wicked families that you see going through some stuff some things not natural it is divine justice some people have to suffer some wicked have to suffer some wicked have to go through some things because some righteous cry 
one night some righteous have some good clothes and couldn't wear them because of some wicked who have talked off every flesh who have shut off every flesh come on somebody but what you sent to me I send it back what you do to me I send it back somebody praise God the torment the ache the pain the hurts the tarnishing the persecution the distress that you sent my way sent over my family I said rebound Somebody say reborn. Jesus Christ. Sweet anointing. Sweet anointing. Sweet. Somebody say reborn. Reverse. Oh God. Prayer warriors is a hard hitting message. Somebody shout a little. I want to fling under the wood. I want to fling some anointing, fling some power, and some stush. Quiet, holy quietness. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody show glory, show glory. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody give a worship, give a worship. Psalm 34, 21 says the affliction will be, the, the afflictions will slay the evil. Again, it's not the righteous avoid afflictions and the wicked have to face them. Instead, it's that the wicked are destroyed by their, their afflictions and the righteous are sanctified and delivered by means of the affliction. Somebody praise God. Overall, Sister Reed, the verse portrays have messages of divine justice and retribution for the wicked emphasizing the consequences they will face for their actions. Second and finally, because I see that you're not up for it for long tonight. Sec second and finally, the outcome of the righteous man's affliction is deliverance. Somebody praise God. The outcome of the righteous man's affliction is deliverance. Somebody praise God. When we look deeper at verse 19, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I close my Bible. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. When we look deeper at the verse 19, it says that many oh uh, God Almighty. It 
It's not one, you know, sister. But the writer begins by saying many, signifying that it is more than one, two, or three. It's a whole lot of them. Many are the afflictions of a righteous man. But the conjunction changed the narrative. But the Lord Somebody praise God. I wonder if you see the text with me. I come back under the anointed. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. What I am seeing here is that a chain, a series, Lord God Almighty, a bundle of holy past something, Lord God, a holy past affliction set to take the righteous to overtake us, to press us down. To depress us, but uh, uh, right in the midst, a butt comes in, the Lord comes in and shift it, shift it. I believe today that there's going to be a shift, shift from affliction to deliverance, shift from pain, shift from the somebody praise God. Preach with me, Officer Wallace. Somebody say, oh, hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Some of them have on your name. Nietzsche, Nisha, Ingram, Codrington. Some of them have on Claudine, Hansel Carter. Some of them have on Garcia, Rattray, Aaron, Sivia. Some of them have on Glen Washington. Some of them have on Juan Kirby. Some have on Barrington. Some on, some on somebody. That mean I feel. Packaged. Parceled. And sent for you. But when God sees it. When God observes it. He said, listen me man, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna shift it. You won't die here. It won't kill you. Because I'm gonna deliver you. I'm gonna set you free. Somebody praise God. David said, I've been young. Now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Can I preach in my home church? Can I preach in Spalling? Somebody pray for me here. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody worship God. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout, packaged and sent, parceled and sent. But in the name of Jesus, deliverance shall cancel your affliction. Deliverance shall cancel your pain. Healing can cancel your sickness. Somebody, somebody praise God. Somebody who lift your hand and said there's going to be a divine cancellation of every affliction sent or otherwise. But there's going to be divine.
If Zion just wave your hand. If the warriors just wave your hand. If you just wave your anointed hand. And cut down every opposition. And cut down every territorial demon. And cut down every assignment that have been sent to target you. Sent to bring you down. Sent to rip you and destroy you. Somebody who open your mouth and show deliverance. God, I feel the anointing of God. Somebody worship God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Why? Why? Why, Officer Khalid, he has an anointing. Woo! Glory to God, I get a word. Somebody praise God. Somebody lift your hand as the afflictions are many. But I'm trusting God for my deliverance. My pains are many. My distresses are many. My hurts are many. What I'm going through and I've been through, there are many, Sister Graham. But God, somebody say, but God. Say, but God, but God shall deliver me. Is there a person in the house who would wave your hand and say, but God, say, but the Lord. But the lion of Judah, but the chain breaker, but the way maker. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say, but God, but God, he see me true. Say, keep me true. Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody travel. Somebody travel. Say, keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me true. But there's a race that I must run. And there's a victory. Somebody clap your hand and push them to the ear. And say, there's a victory. There's a victory. There's a victory to be won. Somebody say, my victory is near. My deliverance is here. My healing has come. And my afflictions are over. My distresses are over. My pains are over. My attacks are over. My conditions are over. I am on a path to greater deliverance. I am on a path. Oh, somebody shout. Hallelujah. Shakando, Rabando, Kreman Sidio, Shibandio Kemai, Rumbio, Shimuka, Randy Bakuturi. Somebody who have the anointed, Lord God, the long time anointed, the Pentecostal anointed, the warfare anointed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody look at your neighbor, say neighbor. You know I have some wicked. You have some people who I have to deal with. Who you have to deal with. They are packed with evil. Their, uh, their thoughts are evil. Their ways are evil. Their faces have smiles and have laughs and grins. But behind it, they are evil. They are wicked. Somebody praise God. But their outcome shall be affliction. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Say, neighbor, I know me say so. And the Bible says that they are wicked shall be slain by affliction, by pain. Somebody praise God shall be brought low, shall be dealt with, shall be dealt oh, Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. See somebody worship. Lord, sister, hear man, I feel it. So, somebody shout. Somebody shout. May I say this? That I came up on a court the other day. The person says, 
is not the stab in the back that hurts him but when he looks around and to see who holding the knife that's what hurt him the most somebody praise God somebody praise God there are some people you know who, who haven't yet come back from the past injury hurts that have been done to them by fearless persons who they had placed their trust in and so you still have to be dealing with it but come on somebody I come back from the states to tell you that the afflictions of the righteous shall not last for the Lord shall deliver him shall rescue him shall save him from them somebody praise God somebody shout hallelujah somebody praise God somebody praise God afflictions don't come in of his cross but it's God who's gonna bring us out somebody praise God somebody praise God somebody lift your hand and shout hallelujah shout hallelujah let me say something else to you quickly sit down I have two more things on the point number two which is the final thing that I want to say to you some of you are on watching some of you are on guard some of you are in the curfew lineup some of you are in the curfew lineup so you have to stand guard somebody praise God somebody praise God say I am an all time on guard soldier somebody praise God who wants an all time every time soldier somebody praise God almighty somebody praise God oh God almighty what the church needs and warriors that are in the battlefield and who are say they are anointed to be in the battlefield, you cannot go on AWOL. Absent without leave. If we are on guard, on battlefield, and we are warrior, we can't take leave. We have to stand up. Some of you don't know them as something in a church. You know? All when you want to sleep. All when you feel like down in your spirit. All when sleep come upon you because you're a soldier and you have a special anointing. All when sleep on you. Jesus Christ church you don't understand Jesus Christ I feel I feel the Holy Ghost somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody say battlefield say warfare say put on your armor pull out your sword we're fighting in the name of the Lord say neighbor be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on put on put on the whole armor that he may be able to withstand uh, the wiles, the attacks uh, of the devil. Helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness. Lord God, lines curled about with truth. 
feet should with the preparation of the gospel Lord God Almighty the gospel of peace and in your hand you have this sword somebody say sword for you ready for battle touch your neighbor say battle say battle time say battle time wake up and ready for battle for deliverance is on way victory is on way Lord God, somebody run and shout. You have to disturb some protocol. You have to disturb some protocol right now. I say, excuse me, sister, but I've got to run. Excuse me, but I've got to move. I see my deliverance coming. I see my breakthrough coming. Shakro Sarabakasata. Jesus Christ, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hear what this says as I bring it home. Verse 19 through to 20 demonstrates this because the gospel of John tells us that verse 20 refers to the death of Christ on the cross. It is his bones that are not broken. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not one of his bones shall be broken. Can we apply it to our context? Can we apply it to our present day? That though afflictions come, though them dash some heavy missiles, they bust up your head, lick you out, knock you down, cripple you, park you. They threw it once, it didn't catch you. They throw it two times, they didn't catch you. Jesus Christ, I'm under a buckle here, I'm under a wife here. Somebody praise God. They threw it four times, still didn't catch you. Somebody praise God. And even if one, two or three catch you, come on somebody, you are not wounded, you are not injured. Come on, you're still standing. They knock you here. They bounce you here. They embarrass you. They walk on your integrity. They attack your character. Come on, somebody. But you knock you here. Knock you there. Strike you there. But you're still standing. Somebody wave your hand and say, I'm still standing. I've been through enough. I've been through battles, I've been through conflicts, I've been through attacks, I've been through, oh, somebody praise God, but I'm still here, say I'm still here, wounded, but not dead, injured, but not broken, somebody praise God, but even when the vessels got broken, God never throw the clay away over and over. He mold me and make me into his likeness. A vessel of honor I am today. All because Jesus, 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 Jesus. I want 10 people under the anointing to help me say, Jesus, 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 never throw me away. I've been wounded, I've messed up, I've slipped, I slide, I've been through hell, I've been through the fire, I've been through the rain, I've been through attacks, I've been through enough, but here I am to say, God's grace and mercy have kept me. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Say neighbor, nay, in all these things, I am more than a conqueror. Somebody say conqueror. Holy Ghost conqueror. Say me an adopted conqueror. But I am anointed to conquer demons. Conquer attackers, conquer oppressors, conquer haters. For yea, though I walk through the valley 
of the shadow of death of fear come with me church don't leave me don't leave me uh, 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 yeah 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 though I walk through death's valley I shall not be buried I shall not be committed no eulogy no tribute no funeral service no procession somebody praise God somebody praise God for the Lord is my light and my salvation whom 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 shall I be afraid when the wicked when the wicked when the wicked even my enemies and my foes come upon me to numb up to tear up to rip up my flesh turn them over turn them over mash them up mash them up holy ghost holy ghost righteous people come talking Zion people say I am wrapped up tied up tangled up and so no weapon Jesus Christ no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper every tongue every tongue good tongue bad tongue lizard tongue sprawling tongue community tongue every evil tongue that orchestrate evil against me I feel you coming with me in the office across. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Touch your neighbor. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. I've been through tribulations. Said I've been through persecutions. And I hope we cross over. See him we again. Say I have been through tribulation. Me a warrior, you know. Me a warrior. I carry an anointing. You can't ramp with me, but you can't go far. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. You can't pretend, but you can't go far. Somebody praise God. For automatically, your true self will come out. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. You know that many of us have to deal with some people. Come with me, warriors who from a good while now they have been wearing masks trying to show you a pretty face like they are with you but guess what what you see happening now is not of their own doing a holy ghost drop off the mask so the true self is being demonstrated now so all the king teeth before Ah oh God, come on, somebody that you have to that your thought were genuine. Lord God, it was a kin teeth on the mask. But now the mask drop off. You realize you're no kin teeth. I nyam them one nyam you. I see them one see you fall. I drop them one drop. That's why me love the Holy Ghost. Touch your neighbor, say Holy Ghost. Expose them, expose them. And this has nothing, nothing much to do with Steve Anthony, Elijah, Melchizedek, Joshua Hepburn. This has to do with people in general. 
that sometimes you move into some space and place or you're working within some spaces and places and even in your family some people come in But look at your neighbor, say neighbor. I won't remove any mask. I'd rather the Holy Ghost tear it off. Because some of the afflictions are coming from some of the same persons. Come on, somebody. Who appears... To be genuine. What are the mask? <laughs> My grandmother told me, says, son, pretense doesn't go far. Because soon reality will show. So when you see something start to unfold and happen in your business place, in your workplace, even in your church or in your family, and you're getting some feedback, some responses, reactions, and treatment from some people who appeared to be, don't worry yourself. Holy Ghost have just stepped in to show the true self. So watch this. The afflictions of the righteous are many. But the outcome is deliverance. The wicked's actions, the outcome of it is affliction. Come on, same word. Desolation, suffering, hardship. I want to send back somebody home today in my rapping up. Go home singing. Go home shouting. For divine justice is about to be served upon the wicked. Look at your neighbor. Say the message is buffet style. Say the whole of church today is buffet style. What don't concern you, leave it alone. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Divine justice. Is about to be served upon every wicked. I bring it home. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is what I want to say to you, church. That the biblical context. The verse suggests that despite facing various challenges, trials and tribulations, God ultimately rescues the righteous from all of them. The deliverances mentioned and which I speak of today can be physical healing. If you believe in your preacher and you love me today, which I know you all do, and you're obedient and compliant to the Holy Spirit, just lift up your own hand, whether it be the right or the left, and say, right now, my afflictions or the afflictions that I have been going through, right now, I claim physical healing. Pass your hand over your body. Pass your hand over your body. Pass your hand. I say it one more time for somebody who just didn't do it. There's an anointing upon me that I believe right now. If a person who is sick or may not be, or may be sick and don't know it, if you pass your own hand, riba koshatoria, right now all over your body, and say physical healing. Kadora basata dika. There's a nineteen and a dika. 
Somebody who feel the quickening. Somebody who feel the shivering. Somebody who feel a difference in your body. And you know you feel of fear felt it. Jump up and shout. Glory, hallelujah. Who sir? Mighty God, mighty God, come on, church. Hallelujah! 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 Oh God, the Holy Ghost, you must send you on a mission. Jesus Christ, anoint any seven people in this house today. Somebody praise God. Any seven. The Crimea. No Kiba. No Liba. Riba Kiatori Abasatada Bahaya. Somebody praise God. Somebody shh. At that church, you don't feel it. This is not a hand burn of fear, kid, you know. This is genuine. Real anointing. Jesus Christ, you'll never be the same. Jesus Christ, praise team members. I see you in your heels, but can I disturb you? Kick off the heels for me. Kick them off, kick them off. Box them off, kick them off. Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. Put on what you have in your hand. Lord God Almighty. Just throw your hands in the air and run down through this congregation. I say run and show Jesus, Jesus. You're bound to see what's going on in this church up today. Jesus Christ, I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, church. Come on, church. Lord God Almighty, look at the fire. Look at the anointing. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody. Help me. somebody. Jesus Christ. Akabatoria basata da baia. Woo! Glory! Glory! Somebody show deliverance! Show deliverance! Show deliverance! Clap your hand! Clap your hands! Go like this over your head and say, My deliverance is in the form of protection. From my enemies, for thou anointest my head with oil. Jesus Christ, somebody, come, somebody, come, somebody. Lord God, Lord God. Oh, Sister Kathleen Palmer, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody, pass your hand over your head and say, Divine protection from the wicked, from the evil one from the destructive elements of the underworld i have divine 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 protection i decree and declare that your deliverance shall come in the form of provision say your needs my needs shall be met somebody praise god somebody Somebody, oh no, let it go, let it go. I feel the anointed. Shakondo, Shukundi, Makundi, Abba, Ribiandi, Okesa. Somebody shout. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout, somebody shout, somebody hold your neighbor's hand and say neighbor, say neighbor, we shall overcome, 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 say overcome, it's many, it's rough, 
is challenging. But who are your neighbor? I say, picnic girl, woman, man, boy, brother, sister. We shall, we shall, we shall, we shall overcome. For it, God, if God be for us. Somebody, somebody trap here. Somebody trap here. Somebody trap here. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Put your hand on your kimbo. Look in at your neighbor face and say, neighbor, say, neighbor, can I tell you something? I will achieve success despite the obstacles say neighbor listen to me success shall come despite the obstacles but God shall deliver me Jesus Christ look past why come on church Come on, church! Come on, church! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Hallelujah! Somebody remind your cable, stand up! Come on, church! Push! Jesus, I feel the Holy Ghost! Shh. Shh. Oh God! Oh God! Somebody coming through! Somebody coming through! Somebody coming through! Under the anointed, Sister Graham, under the anointed, everybody, just hug up somebody, just embrace somebody, and say, neighbor, but the Lord shall deliver us. Jesus Christ. Somebody want this embrace, somebody needed this embrace. Jesus Christ, look at the church. Look at the, look at the deliverance church. Look at the victory church. Shikimosa. Why? Glory. Spallen. Lord God, brother Green. Can I disturb your place of comfort that you're standing or sitting? Touch your neighbor beside you and say, neighbor, I can't keep it to myself. And I can't tell you alone either. I've got to go tell somebody everywhere. Come on, walk out of your seat. Tell a family member. Tell a brother. The Lord shall deliver. Jesus Christ. Tell everybody you meet. Come on, church. Come on. Push it, musician. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Ra Shh. I know some people don't move yet. The Holy Ghost said move. If everybody begin to move and tell somebody, your deliverance is here. Your outcome is deliverance. Your troubles everybody know about. But God is going to change it. Jesus, Paulin, yes, Paulin, yes, Zion.
worship. Somebody move in the Holy Ghost. Give me a piece of napkin. Hold it as you soon sing that one. Hold it. Everybody can see her. What's your name? What's your name? Sister Tamika. But sometimes, you see, some people change your birth name. Your registered name. To label you based upon what you're going through. So they will say blind Bartimaeus. They will say one year is so and so. I'm bent over so and so. so. Come on, somebody. But I hear the Holy Ghost say in my spirit that she's the marker. She's the demonstrator in this place today. If you have a tissue, if you have a piece of napkin, and even if you have a rag, come on, somebody. And you have a bag, handbag, pocket book, or whatever it is. It's time has come, said the Holy Ghost, for you to tell Tata goodbye to your afflictions. Come on, somebody. Because your affliction have caused your tears, sleepless nights. So guess what? You're going to pack up and leave affliction station. You're going to leave the place of affliction. I'm changing my location for a better look. Somebody praise God. This is what you're going to be doing. Because you pack up a pure pain, yes. distress, suffering, and hardship. So you take up your bag, take up your napkin, wipe your eye, drop it, drop it in front of you, walk on it, and say goodbye, affliction. I'm coming, deliverance. So everybody, in this house, take up your pocketbook, take up something. If it's even a book or something, wipe your eye and say, They used to call me Mr. Affliction, our brother Affliction, our sister Affliction. But after today, I am now Sister Deliverance, Sister Victor, Brother Victor. Jesus Christ, I'm speaking ethically in this house. Somebody praise God. Somebody just take it up, wipe your eye, dry your tears, and walk out and say, I'm gone, affliction. Everybody walk out and say, goodbye, affliction. Jesus Christ, this is a high demonstration of faith. You know. Somebody say, faith in action. Nobody know your sorrow, nobody know your pain. 
but you're telling goodbye, goodbye affliction. Hallelujah, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God deliver us. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jesus, Jesus, pack up on God. You can't call me affliction anymore. I know what my deliverance station. Shoot up a hand up. God bless you today, church. Come on, church, lift it up. The outcome of your day, of your affliction, is deliverance. The outcome of the actions of the wicked shall be affliction. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship, somebody worship. Somebody worship. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. You are that person who desires to be further delivered from your afflictions come down here let me pray for you right now Lift your hands and praise God, everybody. Lift your hands and give God a praise, everybody. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. The outcome, the actions of the wicked shall be affliction. And the afflictions that the righteous goes through, the outcome, shall be deliverance come on somebody what is your outcome deliverance. deliverance if you are righteous and you do good and not evil your outcome shall be deliverance if you're evil in your thoughts in your actions and in your words online or offline persons 
evil wickedness shall result in affliction, distress, hardship, struggles, all different kind of stuff, divine justice. You name it shall come to the wicked. But we the righteous shall be delivered, shall be set freed. So Tyrion, somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody just wave your hand and praise God. Somebody just wave your hand and praise God. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, today again, God, we thank you for the spoken word. Thank you for the anointing. For it is that which break yokes and set captives free. Lord, today, we're most grateful that you have been with us and you are still with us. You have spoken to us through the spoken word. You have ministered to us through the singing and the various uh, activities that were done in your house today. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, that you still forgive sins. You still wash, you still cleanse. That even now, we too can be cleansed, washed, and forgiven of sins that we have committed in actions that were unrighteous. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for your cleansing. Thank you for your washing. And today, Lord, your people have responded to the spoken word. I pray for the Father that you'll minister to them. Some are going through so much. Unbearable, intolerable. They can't even talk about it. Some have internalized it. Some have verbalized it. Some, oh God, have expressed it in various different ways. Their hurts, their pain, and what they are going through. But I'm glad today, Lord, that you can be touched with the feelings and the infirmities of your people. Lord God, touch us somebody at this altar today. Touch every person that is now bowing at this altar. Whether they are going through afflictions or they just need another prayer for the journey. I pray for your covering. I pray for your intervention. I pray for your strength. I pray for your direction. I pray that you'll provide them with protection from up above. You'll supply their needs according to your riches in glory. Where there's sickness, there will be healing and deliverance. Where they are troubled on every side, prevent the Father that you'll show up and grant deliverance. Minister to your people today, giving healing, deliverance. Oh God, provision, miracles will be wrought. Touch your people today, God. From the left to the right, to the very center of this altar, every person, young and old, male and female, females, Lord God, ministering angels, power of God, sovereign one, blow a fresh wind over this gathering. Let somebody walk from this altar saying, I am different. I am ministered unto, I am inspired, I am edified, I am strengthened, I am healed. Thank you for your touch. Thank you, God, that you still minister to the broken, those who are sick. I pray, God, for Sister Nav, Brother Mike, his mother-in-law who is not well. I pray for strength. I pray for guidance. I pray that you'll minister to her right now. All the others who are not well. Brother Fagan, I pray that you'll touch him now, Lord. Minister to him, Lord, Sister Peggy. You know them all that aren't well, that are affiliated with this church. Pray God that you'll touch them. Sister Arlene Clark's mother, I pray God that you'll minister to her. Sister Almin's mother, 
I pray God that you'll touch her. I pray God that all the persons who have relatives and members and associates who are not well, I pray for strength. I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance. Our children who are in tertiary institutions and they are not here. I pray for your ministering angels to go by and comfort them. That even in the close of a semester of another academic year, you will provide them with favor. Strength, Lord. If it's a final year, I pray for accomplishment. If it's a second, first, third year, I pray that you'll minister to them, Lord. God, those who have other assignments and commitments, I pray for the Father for strength. I pray for coverage, coverage and protection. I pray for this church. I pray for the membership. I pray for the leaders, the officers, the council board. I pray, God, for the different leaders of various departments. I pray for the entire district. I pray for the communities. I pray for the other pastors and leaders. I pray for our nation. I pray, God, that you'll minister to our leaders, political leaders. Pray, God Almighty, that they will uh, look to you for guidance and for wisdom. Lord God, touch an unsave and a backslider today that they will encounter you, God. In a mighty way, deliverance, God. Save in Jesus. Save a soul that is nearest hell. And let somebody be reclaimed to the rightful place of serving you. We thank you, God. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for those who are online who are pleading for prayer. Pray, God, that you'll minister, Lord. Time would fail if I tried to call all names. But Spirit of the living God, locate them in their place right now and give them strength and healing and deliverance mighty deliverer thank you for the long ladies who have come from lucy cover them lord as they journey back protect them from incidents accidents and danger let them encounter you in a mighty and delivering way we thank you for the touch the strength the guidance thank you for the young people and the children of this church who were in charge that you'll minister to them and you'll guide them. Strengthen them and provide for them as they go. Spirit of the living God, lay your hand of God upon every person today. And I pray that once again, God, you will touch an unsaved person who may be at the altar or even standing or sitting in their seat. That they will have a real and divine encounter. That will hear them saying, I'm healed, I'm healed. I can't hold it no longer. Thank you for strength. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for deliverance and salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah before you move. Before you move. Before you move. Is there somebody who have walked to this altar today who don't know Jesus Christ? Raise your hand. You've come to this altar, you don't know Jesus Christ. You have not yet accepted him. Yes. Today, I give you Jesus. I give you him as Lord and Savior. And as you've heard the message, the afflictions are many. Sin's affliction, temporal and physical afflictions. But God can deliver you. Would you like him to deliver you from your sins today? Say this prayer, dear God. I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me. Wash me. I surrender to you today. I give you my life. Save me. Amen. Will you accept Jesus Christ? She says yes. Put your hands together. Come on, come on. Somebody take her name and her number. Come on, counselors. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody worship God. Please don't.
I thank all of you for being here today. Thank you. I know you are blessed. I know you are inspired. I know you are touched by God today. And you're going home motivated, encouraged to go on in the Christian pathway. God eternally bless you. Thank you again, sisters from the Lucy Church. We pray for safe traveling back. Amen. The hospitality team will talk to you. And the children, don't leave, children. There's refreshment provided for the children, courtesy of yours truly. I promised you, and I wanted to ensure that I kept my end of the bargain. Amen. So children, stay for the refreshment. Stay for what has been provided for you. Amen. And God eternally bless you. FDH tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Let us come on out. Please, in our group, come on out. Solomon group. It promises to be good. Tuesday, deliverance fasting. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Bible studies. Please make it. Try. Give it your support. Friday, 9 o'clock. It is Good Friday worship service. 9 o'clock to 11. And then 12, 12.30 is the fest and fellowship that you can't afford to miss either. May God bless you next week Sunday. It's Easter Sunday, the 31st day of March. Amen. You got to come and support. Amen. Rally March 1B. Amen. And also in April is our harvest. On April 14th, the second Sunday in April, it's going to be the Women's Ministries Fundraising Initiative right here in Sunday morning worship service. I am asking all the ladies to prepare to be a part of that. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. And convention comes up on Easter Monday. Women, it's your convention. Brothers, you can also support the women. And may God eternally bless you. The children, the young people go to Congress. Remember the fifth, it's a street meeting. Don't, I can't afford for you not to give your support to the various activities. So if you have a flag, you can just leave it on the chair or send it to the end so somebody can send them up to the front so Officer Salmon can pick them up. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship God. The report from Rally March. Say Rally. Say Rally. Brothers and sisters, both groups have done well. Put your hands together for yourselves. <laughs> yes, Deacon is sweet. Oh. Sweet, eh? sweet, you know. Catch a beaten stick. Sweet, you know, just a laugh, so. Every day won't be the same, so don't worry. Don't worry. Make some noise, Noah. Make some noise. Make some noise, Noah. Make some noise, Noah. Make some noise, Solomon. Way out in front is the mighty front way out in front <laughs> Michael Manley says 50,000 strong can wrong but he was dead wrong on the night of election that's the same thing today all in red and numbers and shouting but Noah 
Solomon, you are 300 plus thousand. Noah, we are 400 plus thousand. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior. With the weapon in a me right hand. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior. Come, me come back from foreign, you know. Wait, no, me. I feel with time now. No, I feel with time now. What? But I can't take it. God bless you. Thank you for your effort. We like the energy. We like the vibes. We like the momentum. We like the spirit. And we come in. We continue with the initiative because we are building together the kingdom of God. Amen. Remember, rally is June 28th. And we have rally March 1B next week, Sunday. And then the next rally march will be the last Sunday of May. God bless you. I love you. God keep you. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this church's YouTube page. Don't move, Church of God people. Don't move. Come on. Come on. Let's move. You want to talk? Can we say something here? No. Amen. Amen. I'm <laughs> too. We have on this paper, Sister Johnson, three hundred and <laughs> after. It. Hold on, church, hold on. He said he has in his hand a hundred thousand. But you have to have your hundred thousand and put it up there and connect before we make the report. So you have to go hold the hundred and come challenge me next week. Put your hands together. We're glad for the hundred, but you can't win with this week again after the report. Not true. Yes, so we love your spirit, Deacon, but come back next week. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hold on, church. Amen. Let's go out in the proper order. 